Hey guys, it's the Ultimate Tourier from BearHugItOut.com, and I'm here to give you a weekly NXT recap. Now, if you listen to our podcast or follow us on Twitter, Instagram, all that jazz, you will know that I am a massive NXT fan. So this is easy for me to do. Uh, this week, October 28th, if you're following along, uh, the first match of the night was Emma versus Shaza. Shaza. It sounds like a soda pop, but I'm pretty sure her gimmick is adult toddlers and tiaras. That's what I'm seeing so far. I'm not knocking it. That's just what I'm seeing. But uh, they were the first match of the night, and it was a really brutal showing of Emma. And what I mean by that is that I love Emma evil Emma. I think it's great. The gloves, the dark lipstick, the work in the hair. I think it's dope. And I think her versus Asuka is going to be amazing. I mean, Asuka's my girl. She can do no wrong in my eyes. But I think it's going to be really great. I think it's a really great development of her character. But I think the match of the night, I'm looking on my phone. I'm cheating. So I know the order. So I remember. But uh, the match of the night was... Jordan, Gable, Ciampa, and Gargano. That match was honestly one of the best tag team matches I've seen in a while. The double team that Gargano and Ciampa did, um, just stupid. Stupid. It's so, it was insane. And Jason Jordan and Chad Gable are just so much fun to watch. Like, I could watch them do anything. Do they want to go paddle boarding? I'll watch it. Do they want to go and, like, go to a library? I'd watch that, too. I mean, it, they just look like they're having so much fun. And I think that's what wrestling's about. And I think that's why they're so over with the crowd is because they're just having fun and they're enjoying it. And that's just, like, really good for people to see, I think. I mean, for me. They were great to watch at NXT Nashville. And I became a fan. Um... The next match was Nia Jax, the indomitable Nia Jax, versus Kaylee Ray, who I thought hearing her name was going to be like a good old Southern girl because that's a Southern name. Uh, but she's Scottish. Who would have known? But, um, I mean, it was another kind of squash match for Nia. But I always like with NXT, I don't know it, what why this is, but I always feel like they respect the wrestlers enough where even in the squash matches, the opponent, the loser still kind of gets to show their stuff. And I think that's awesome. And I think that's part of the reason why I think NXT has done so well is because I think they really respect the wrestlers and they respect what they're doing. They respect that it's an art form, but it's, it's as athlete meets art, which I'll go into that another day. But it was a good match. Uh, I like Nia Jax because I think it's really great that they're showing a different body type for the women's division. Um, I think it's just good for girls to see that you can be different kinds of body types and still excel. Uh, the next match was supposed to be Dash and Dawson versus my people, Enzo Amore and Big Cass. But it came out. They sneak, they a sneak attack, y'all. Come on, boys. Oh, it was sad. But, so we didn't have a match there. But the last match was Samoa Joe versus Tyler Breeze, Prince Pretty. Um, I, I mean, I kind of had an inkling of how that match was going to go because, one, Tyler Breeze got called up to the main roster, so we knew probably not going to win. And they tend not to let him win a lot of matches. Um, it was a good match. It's... Um, they're both so talented, so it's good to watch them. It's probably not the best match either of them have ever had, but it was a good match, and it was entertaining to watch. Uh, but I think all of this is leading up to next week, which is the championship bout between Finn Balor and Apollo Crews, who both had segments tonight uh, showing how like, like likable they both are. They're both faces. They're both so over, um, and they're both so talented. So I think... It'll be a really great match next week. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. I hope you are. Um, if you want to say, if you have any thoughts, like concerns, 
Uh, compliments? Yeah, I'm wearing a cat shirt. Yeah, and um, if you have anything to say, or not, or don't say, I don't know, uh, you can retweet this, uh, share it, like it, follow Bear Hug It Out on Twitter. We're there. We're doing a lot of things. NXT is my thing, but we're doing a lot of different things. But uh, hopefully this didn't go too awkwardly. Uh, I'll talk to you guys next week. Have a good night.